Good morning. I'm all the way over in Lancaster. It is currently half past nine, so I've been here a little bit. As you can tell, I am already filthy. So it's a customer that's got me off of YouTube and he's creating a home cinema downstairs. He already has one all the way upstairs. Hopefully in a little bit we'll pop and I'll show you that because it's absolutely incredible. Um, but they want a, a home cinema downstairs. Um, so we've got six speed, ceiling speakers, which the customer, the customer supplied everything. This is the best thing about this job. I've been given a list, which I'll show you in a second, of the things that need doing and you know, how will I go about it. So this is what we're going to do. So six speakers, an array of cables running everywhere. You can see we've already got plasterboard dust everywhere. I just put the two final speakers out. We've got speaker cables. I don't know what the cable is. I think that's a coax. We've got some 32 mil uh, flexi conduit. That is going to run the cables in. We've got some fish wire. We've got the speakers. We've got the fire hoods. We've got lots and lots of stuff. So the plan is over here. The majority of this is going to go. The walls are dabbed off quite a lot. But up here where I've cut this hole, we've got six ceiling speakers. We've got six wall speakers, which have been wired in the same. All being taken up. So we're going to drill out. We're going to knock, knock a square out the breeze block there. Find the cavity. Go all the way up because it's a three-story house knock a breeze block in the same area all the way up there, rod up, pull three to four lengths of this flexi conduit with some fish tape in it up. I can run all the cables around here, the six in the ceiling and the six wall speakers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six going up into here. Fish that up, do some electrics. We've got a few spur to go up here for the electric uh, rail. We've got sockets go down here for the subwoofers. We've got a put this, plastic back box in the wall for, for this. So there's a lot to do and realistically not a lot of time at the moment. So I'm gonna crack on, but uh, I'm gonna SDS out, square up here, go upstairs in the loft, do the same thing there and see if we've got a clear run all the way up through the cavity. Um, we don't have to sheath the cables in the cavity because it is speaker cables. It's obviously not carrying um, a 240. So it doesn't need protecting, but the customer's got this as and when we can always pull some more stuff or stuff gets damaged in the future so come along for the journey not done this before so um yeah wish me luck already not after a great start so it was the customer's idea to run up in the cavity hence the flexi and all that sort of stuff but i've just knocked out our first bit and unfortunately obviously oh, i say unfortunately it's a good thing that there's cavity wall insulation but the problem is it's it's a st it's like the stiff rigid uh, the, the big squares that you get, but there's not a lot of movement in it. And even if I was to squish that back like a, a, a harder, you've only got, a, let's say, a gap that's that big. Obviously, 32 mil conduit is about that from the outside. And we've got four of them to go in. And trying to rod down that, we already might be off to a non-starter. Let me grab the customer and have a chat. Oh dear. Right, we've gone and had a discussion. We're gonna go with some aircon trunking that sits on the outside, some black or some gray stuff uh, that's gonna clip, has like shoes on the end of it, which can drill through obviously to bring the cables in because we've got 12 speaker cables, we've got a HDMI, we've got a TV cable. Off the top of my head that I can think of, there's more stuff. Like I'll show you the list we've got. So they're the ones that I, you, know, you see the conduit black, conduit black, and then the conduit yellow, the stuff that we need to put in. But obviously that is all the stuff that's needs to be run. This is the list of stuff I've got to do. <laughs> um, we've got some heat shrink labels, which all the stuff you just saw is everything's gonna get labeled from one. So I'm gonna, I've done a measurement of out, up and in, uh, which is, I just read it on here run on here which is uh, seven meters 20 with allowance of an extra meter from this hole outwards so it's going to be running pairs because we were saying about the the distance between certain cables that are running pairs they pretty much have to be the same otherwise you will get a delay on the audio so that's a pair that one and that one is a pair there's two behind me which are pairs the ceiling speakers are also pairs so as we run them I'm going to make sure, as I run them as a pair, that they're exactly the same distance um, to the exact that I could physically be, so there's no interference. The customer did say within a metre or so that the amplifier, I think he said, will sort of work it out and fix the tiny little measurements that, that that's there. But if we can do it as best we can, we will. Especially with Tablet Nick now, we are quite anal about uh, getting things as best we can, other than... Um, the mess I made earlier, so I'm gonna tie that up in a minute. 
But now I'm gonna get the heights that I need for the ceiling, uh, the wall speakers, get that drilled, get some rods up in the ceiling for each one, and we're gonna go from there. Right, go on, go on, Mr. Magnet. Oh, the beading. Right, so I have done a line over there, which is the base of the... That is then running to this line here. These are the speaker bases. I need to be drilling a hole in the plasterboard here. This is gonna go center on the laser, marking through, drilling a hole there into the plasterboard, then trying to get no dabs as we go all the way up and then trying to get into the ceiling space. But obviously as of where it hits, I'm gonna to have to do a little notch because obviously it's being plastered, hence my massive hole there and the 54 socket fronts and patches that are in the wall here. So it will get skimmed at some point, but yeah, let me find the measurement. Right, we've gone around, marked everything we need to do. Weapons of choice, we've got the multi tool and I've got a flat bit in. We've got the combi with the 14 mil spade bit in. Um, we're not gonna bother protecting the floor. We're gonna go around with the hoover and everything afterwards, but it's all being changed. So as you can tell, it's all being redone. And then I've got the hole saw in the combi drill to go up if, well, we're gonna have to here because of the joist. So, right, this in first, then this. And I was just checking then that them pipes go through and not directly up where I am. I would say because obviously we're sticking a rod up the wall try and take a bit of the plasterboard up now just to allow the rod to move up like this also there's so many cool gadgets in this house i am going to run you around a little bit customers just show me this very expensive cat cable measure a distance checker thick very cool and there's loads of control for stuff which i've never come across uh face to face and customers are going to run through with me a little bit of how it works and i'm very very interested so if you're trying to find the wall obviously we need to go to there to the ceiling put that to the ceiling see where we're sitting so we know full well we can either mark the rod but with whew, what essentially is 10 inches left there um we're going to be okay Let's give it a go, actually. I'm gonna use the thinner rod. It's already a no-no. Hmm. If you're struggling to get up the hole, <laughs> you can put the flexier, flexier bits on. And even again, if it's snagging on the sharp bits of the thread, you've got like a ball nose bit. Like these bits. See, it's already gone up a lot further than before. That's just so much dab. Listen, hollow, 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 dab, 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 hollow. Was that a sick new soundtrack I just made then? So, great success. As you can see with the rods, you can barely tell where the dabs were. Uh, if you can just rod straight up the wall, you should be able to pop straight up into the ceiling. So. Um, just another five to go. Great job, Rods. Right, so that took a while. We've got plenty of holes in the ceiling coming across. Some have gone really well, i.e. this, down to that. Other ones, not so much, going across. But while we're making a mess, before we tidy up, I'm gonna put the control panel, control four panel, which is this. So I've not done anything to do with control four ever. I know absolutely nothing about it. The customer's got it in the house. So it's control four screen, which, has this insert that sits on the back that then comes in this patras, which slots in lovely. So what I need to do is to insert this into the wall, which will be a challenge in itself because it's really deep, but then to get them off the wall, there's a bracket that slots in and pushes the pins down. And if you don't know what I mean, this is a control four panel. We choose the rooms. The hideous amount of things you can do on it security, lighting, music in any room. So, just awesome. 
but I've got to get this cable, which is an RJ45, across into this and down. Stick that there. <laughs> Good shout, looks good. I will say, just before I'm about to cut this out. I'll fit in there, no problem. All right, cool. Well, I've already got the cut out wrong. hours later we've gone to a metal one for the sole reason we took the wings the customer said oh we've got a metal one in so we ended up smacking that back we've got the cat cable in with a grommet that goes up and across that way we've got the hole for this and for that that worked out well i'm just going to screw this back in now customers just configured it configured it when i had my lunch uh, so we'll get this pushed on and i'll show what it looks like hi so this one is all done and dusted so at some point that will then control everything that way everything in the house and yeah, it's just literally a cat cable running down to that into the box. And, uh, and this is the 10 inch screen. You can also get the seven inch screens, but yeah, very cool. Let's watch. Oh, it's Analectrics, just joking. Right, onto the next one. The customer has got this. So I'm gonna give this a go for the first time. And uh, see how it goes. So we've got to put two 45 mil back boxes in, one for the coax cable for the subwoofers, and one for a few spur for the subwoofer as well. Jesus, turn this down a bit. That really hurt my ears as well. I don't know if I'm convinced or not. I mean, yeah, it's the right size. Just get a hell of a amount of dust. Obviously, chippage as well, but oh, at least, do I not, oh my God, I don't have to cut anything out. Oh, I've completed it. Bum, um, I've completed life. Go on home. Right, it's half past three. I seem to have got a whole lot of nothing done today, uh, which sounds and looks ridiculous, but I'm talking to the customer as well. Every now and then we run through loads of stuff. I'm still gonna show you the cool stuff in a bit. We've got all the rods, we've got our runs, we've got our boxes cut in, we've got roots for few spurs from this socket going around within zones. This one and this one are the coaxes for the subwoofers. That's just, it took me, probably 25 minutes to put that rod in and it would have took me no more than five minutes to chase it out with a multi tool work that out last but not least what i'm doing now is I'm drilling through all the joists but unfortunately i'm having to blind drill a few of them but i sort of know where the pipes are you can see the pipes here we've got an extractor fan over there so i'm drilling these ones i'm drilling them ones and we're feeding all the way back and then I'm gonna try and pull some cables in today because time has run away with me and I'm only here for two days. I'm just staying in a hotel around the corner. So, so here we have hit the jackpot. We have a T-piece, fabulous. We've got a joist and another joist. So over there, I drilled it at the right angle so I could see there was nothing coming up. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're looking up, oh, so yeah, that's very bright with the torch. Looking up, I can see in a minute, you guys won't be able to see that there's no cables or pipes running this way. And with this one, I could just shift that cable up. My extender bit is long enough to go through both the joists and we'll just have to do a fish up and over to get the cable from there. I only hit the camera three times, but we're, we're, we're through. There's no water, power's still on. Right, last but not least before I call it a day, this is the home cinema that I was on about. Fabulous. A ceiling, it's all controlled through the apps on the control four. You've got the reclinable seats. You've got hideous amount of speakers. These are all the speakers that have been taken down for the time being. In and around, you actually have four speakers behind the screen, one two center, one up top. Subwoofers below, one in each corner of the room. You've got a mental amount of speakers in the ceiling and all come around as well. Down there. So if I literally do, I've asked permission to do this, but I'm just not going around in someone's house. Watch Sky Q. That's sky on. Blinds have come down automatically. It's absolutely insane, guys. Like, I, it's, I'm not even like <clears throat> saying it because the customers are going to watch this. This is in someone's house, and the customers told me in total for the whole bill for this so far is 100 grand deep. 
And then they do another one downstairs. Right, just so I can experience the real, oh my God, effect. The customers just put on a, uh, like a, a demo, Blu-ray, whatever, that shows off, shows off the speakers, the screen quality, everything. Oh my God. Right, I'm gonna get on with some more work. It is day two for me, but I never ended yesterday's video, so that's what this is. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. This is also sick, and we'll be back, the customer's already said this morning, to do some more stuff in the future, so we should be able to see our finished work downstairs completed. Um, but yeah, look forward to the next video. We're running in the cables, uh, putting the chunkers up on the outside, pushing it through, doing some speaker cable connections with special crimps and a crimping tool that the customer has. So, um, stay tuned, like, subscribe, love you, bye.